Shannon, scale of 1 to 10, how impressive were Mahomes and the Chiefs yesterday? Mahomes with a 15. I've had that injury. And it's not easy. And it's his back foot, Skip. It's his right. So that's the one he has to drive and try to throw the football. That's also that he does a lot of stuff. You know, if he's under center, he has to run and try to hand the ball off. So it's not easy to maneuver because when he tried it at first, that, that thing is really, really painful. Now, once, I mean, the pain probably subsided once they took him in the locker room, gave him a little injection in that thing, and it probably sub uh, subsided. Now, it probably won't be as painful on Sunday as it was this past uh, Saturday. But he'll know that there's something going on. Given what they did, I think the most impressive was Chad Henney. He was. Because he came in off the bench. And Chad Henney knows, uh, I'm probably going to get about 10 plays a season. Mm -hmm. But I've got to be ready when they call Skip. Remember, he got knocked out of a game, I think it was a playoff game or a regular, regular season game a couple of years ago. He did. And Chad Henney came in and finished it off. It was against Baker. Yeah. Right? He, yep. And, yeah. And he came in and finished it off. We don't realize how valuable backups are until we have to put their butts in the game and then they, they mess up or they do what Chad Henney did, a 98-yard drive mm -hmm. on, what, 15, 16 plays? Yep. And then Mahomes come back, and then he did what he does, Skip, because that, that touchdown drive at the end where he steps up in the pocket and he jump passes and he throws it to uh, MBS, mm -hmm. that, they needed that. Yep. They, now we put the pressure on you. Now you got to go get two scores in order to tie us. He was very, very impressive, and they needed to be because you're dealing with a hot team. The Jags were a very, very hot football team, and they did a number on them. They were able to win this ball game, but they got their work cut out for them next week, Skip. They got their work cut out for them, but you know what? You can't give up 19 rushes for 144 yards because I think the Cincinnati running game is a little bit more vaunted <laughs> with Mixon because he can run with more power, and P. Mm -hmm. Ryan is, always, is, is only a power back, mm -hmm. but he has decent speed. You got to do a better job of controlling that. They did a great job of, of getting after Trevor Lawrence, 24 of 39 for 217. But I was very, very impressed with Patrick Mahomes. Very, very impressed. Not a whole lot of guys would have stayed in there. Not a whole lot of guys would have sucked it up. He didn't want to come out. No, he didn't want to come out in the first place. He didn't want to, yeah. And then they basically they talked him into it and said, look, let's go into the locker room. Let's let, get a little medicine in there. Mm -hmm. You'll come back out after the half. Yep. He came back out after the half and he played. Because you look at it, Skip, look at his numbers. Before the injury, he was 10 of 12, 77 yards, and he finished with 22 of 30 for 195. The 195 is the fewest in his postseason career. Yep. We expect Patrick Mahomes to throw for 300 in every game that he's in. Okay, but he didn't get to play the whole game. No, so that was the but, but, but yeah. the thing was, Skip, is that he did that okay. on the bump ankle, which was going to go a long way with his teammates in that locker room. Yep. It will, and I give you that. But if I do the overall impact of the game to my eyes, how impressive was the overall impact? I will only give you a five on a scale of one to ten yeah. for some of the reasons you pointed out. So I look at the final numbers of this game. So Jacksonville, as you just pointed out, rushed for 144 yards. So did Kansas City, 144. Trevor Lawrence threw for 217 yards. Combined, Mahomes and Henney threw for 218 yards. Yeah. So is that not about as even steep as, as you, you can get. get, right? Yeah. And then I look down the list at some of these other team stats. Jacksonville was 7 of 13 on third downs. Pretty good. Uh, 6 of 12 by the home team is, is pretty good. 50%, 50%. Okay. So what's the difference here? Aha! I see two turnovers yeah. on the Jacksonville side. I see zero turnovers on the Kansas City mm -hmm. side. So, at times, I thought Kansas City's defense was really good. It kind of surprised me how yeah. good it was. And at times, I thought it was vulnerable. Yes. So, allow me to show you how vulnerable it was. And, by the way, Henny didn't win the game, but he saved it. He game. saved it. Oh, he yeah, 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 yeah. Because 98 yards is 98 yards. And Jacksonville's defense, I thought, heaved a little sigh of relief and said, okay, we can sit back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And they sat back for 98 yards and let them score a touchdown. That, that will not work. But... 234 left in the second quarter. If I could show you a throw from Trevor Lawrence that could have changed this game to Christian Kirk, who got banged up later in the game. But this is a deep ball that Christian Kirk has to catch. He just has to catch it. That, yep. That's another one of those. This is a good throw. This is not a Dak throw. This is a good throw. And Christian Kirk is a very good receiver. He just has to catch the football because if you do, it's three or seven in a very close game. So I, I don't know that Trevor can throw it a whole lot better than he that. He can't. Okay. He can't. All right, so that's the first mistake. That's not a turnover, but it, it, it takes points off the board for you. And then with 536 left in the game, 
it's it, it, you have a chance you're going in to cut it to 27 24 and i don't know what's going to happen because as you point out jacksonville is a buzzsaw right now and yeah. they are the comeback kids yeah. right yeah okay and jamal agnew who's more of a kick returner than a receiver has the ball and he's going in for a touchdown if we could see this as first and goal at the nine and he's like i'm going to run before i actually put this ball away and he put it on the ground yep and you can't do this this is you, you're, you're going in for seven and you have none and th they have them on the ropes here. They're going to cut it to 27-24. And then with 3.55 left, Trevor Lawrence has another opportunity. Th this, it's still a football game. There's a heck of a play, though, yeah, by the corner. It is, but, but Zay has got him. Yeah, Zay you got to be, got yeah. Him, if we could see the play. Zay's got him, and Trevor has a blitzer right in his face, but he can't get enough on the ball to get it up. And if you get it up, like playing two he, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It could go a long ways if you can just get a little more mustard on it and the jump in two trees. You see, I jumps yeah, in his back pocket. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Thirty-five. Yeah. Watson. Yeah. Jamal Watson. Yeah. He just goes up and snatches. He looks like he's about six-three. Yes. And that's the football game. But there was opportunity, opportunity, right. door open, door shut, mm -hmm. door open, door shut. And I, I don't know if Kansas City is a better football team than Cincinnati. I don't think so. That I, just, don't, I don't. I don't think so either, Skip. I wouldn't be surprised if Cincinnati is favored in this game. Well, it's, consider, it's, consider, it's, it's, considering considering Mahomes' health, it's a point and a half. Kansas City's a point and a okay. half, and if you get three for home field, you can make the case they're not being favored. In this we'll game. see. That thing might be bet all the way down. It might be by the end of the week. It might be Cincinnati favored by okay. a point and a well, half. Well, I, I think the smart money is going to go in that direction. But the point is, on any given Sunday, anything can happen, right. and any happened to them. So that was another huge turning point in this game, and yet. Now we've got Mahomes, and by the way, I think it was Warren Sapp who tweeted that it looked a little dirty to him on that play. Right. If we could see the Mahomes injury right. play quickly, and it made me pause and think about it. It's like Arden Key. You know could, what, Skip? You, could, if you if you thought it was dirty, you gonna say that's a dirty play. If you didn't think it was dirty, you gonna say the guy's just you know he's just making a play. Could he have led up after he sees the ball? Because I think he sees the ball is gone, Skip. Yeah. You could have just like okay, I'm. Okay, now did not go to the ground. Yeah. But now he goes to the ground and pulls him down. And you know, Skip, that's kind of like horse collar. That's why they... You know what? It is a horse collar <laughs> type of, an, uh, of, a, of a dangerous play. You know what it is? It's kind of like how Dak got tackled. Remember how Dak he got did, tackled he, from the front? But, but he got yanked yeah. down from the front. Yeah. But I think Warren Sapp's point was, and, and I have high regard, and you know... Sapp, yeah, I know Sapp. Yeah, absolutely. Hall of Famer. But... He doesn't try to wrap him. He just immediately collapses down. to the ground. And with his knees, they go knees first mm -hmm. down across his calf right. as it goes to the yeah. ground. And it bends the, the right. ankle in a way it cannot be bent. Yeah, I, I'm just surprised more injuries don't happen like that when guys dropping their weight. Because, Skip, some got me, look, your body's made to carry your weight. Not another 250 or 280 pound man dropping his weight on top of you. Yeah, what's Arden Key weigh? 6'5, 240. So you, there you go. So when you look at this, Skip, look at this. I mean, he drops all of his weight down. Yep. And so I, I, I see, but, and you look at it, look at it. You, I'm surprised he didn't break his ankle. Well, it broke Tony Pollard's yeah, I'm su fibula. It, yep. I'm surprised it did not break his ankle. But that was the first time it happened to me in 93 at, Arrow, at that same stadium. Albert Lewis tackled me just like that from the, but he tackled me from the back. Snatch me down, my, my ankle my ankles seemed like it, and Shan felt like it yeah. touched the turf. Albert Lewis was a cornerback. Co was yeah. a cornerback at, at, at the Chiefs at the time. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a dirty play. That's, I mean, guy, you know, you're just tackling, trying to get somebody down. And, uh, but the, but to, for him to come back into that ball game and play as steady as he, as he is, but Cincinnati know he's wounded. They know high ankle sprains take four to eight weeks to heal. Yeah. So am I going to be surprised if they heat him up? Yeah. Absolutely not, because where are you going? So my final analysis on Arden Key is only one man knows whether he had intent on that play, right. and I don't know what was in his heart. Correct. It looks a little suspicious to me. That's mm -hmm. all I can say, but right. I don't know what he's thinking. It could have just been in, in, in the, the fury of the play. He right. just, he just right. played it out and fell. Right. So I, I'm not. But, gonna the, but as a defender, Skip, they can they could do plays like that a lot more. They just don't. I mean, because you're trying to tackle somebody, Skip, I'm just trying to get you on the ground and just drop my weight, just like the horse collar, Skip. It, it, just think about it. I mean, it took 
how many people uh, did uh, Roy Williams actually injure before they actually, I mean, he broke T.O.'s ankle. He did. He uh, tore a guy's ACL. I mean, he had like three or four guys got seriously injured. With horse collars. With horse collars yep. before they said, hold on, we got to take a look at this. Because that, everybody used to try to horse collar you. Yep, they did. <laughs> it's easy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the easiest yeah, handle, yeah, yeah. right? It's Can like a go, handle. I got your shoulder pads. You're not yep. going nowhere without them pads. Yeah. Because first of all, they're strapped and they're they fastened. Yeah. So you're not going nowhere. If I grab no. that, you're, you're stopping. And if you yank on me and I'm running full speed, bad things are going to happen Something because gonna I'm, I'm going to go completely out of balance and go backward. An ACL, an yeah. MCL, an ankle, something's going to snap. You see how yeah. I snapped T.O.'s ankle? I'm actually surprised they didn't call a penalty on the play. But the, Late, the the ball was the gone, passer, yeah. yeah, or just some kind of roughing because it's it's another body weight on a body part, correct? Full body weight. I'm sure that's up. Guess what? They're gonna look at it because why? It happened to a top career quarterback, just like they revisited the uh, uh, Sean Brady rule skip. Because you remember a couple like in '99, Trent Green lost his job to Kurt Warner for that same hit that he put did. Tom Brady out for that's a year, true. and they they'll revisit this. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, the competition going to committee is gonna look. Quarterback, you're not going to be able to snatch him down like that in the pocket. Mm. <laughs> Whew. Well, guys, Andy Reid said that Pat Mahomes has had this injury before, actually, 2019, to start the season and played through it. So we will see next week as the Chiefs advance to their fifth straight AFC Win that game, that may be a great accomplishment. Mm -hmm. It's tremendous, absolutely. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.